Welcome to the video on 5665 error code. In this video, you will learn what the 5665 error code is and what to do if you get a 5665 error code when listing a product. A 5665 error code means that you've applied to sell a product under a brand name that Amazon hasn't yet approved. Amazon must approve a brand before it can be used to list products. We proactively review and approve all new brand names to ensure only authentic products are offered in our store and that your intellectual property is protected. All brand names must comply with our brand name policy. You can find this policy by going to Seller Central's homepage. Type Amazon brand name policy in the search field on your Seller Central account. If you are the owner of a brand that has a registered trademark, you may be eligible to enroll in our brand registry. To find out more about Amazon's brand registry, go to Seller Central's homepage. Type Brand Registry Help in the search field on your Seller Central account. If your product does not belong to any brand, use the brand value generic. Now that we've covered the background on brands and generic brands, let's get back to the 5665 error code. If presented with the error code message, click Follow the link. This will take you to the Selling Application for Catalog Authorization page in Seller Central, where you can apply for approval for your product's brand. To begin the brand approval application, first select the type of product you want to list by either searching for your product or use the product classifier. Next, you will need to add images of your brand name and logo. Before you drag and drop or select the files, ensure that the images you are providing meet all the requirements necessary for us to approve your brand. These requirements are, at least one image of your brand is on either the product or the packaging. The submitted brand names must match the name in the listing application exactly, however capitalization or spacing differences are fine. The product images must not be computer generated or digitally added to the product in the image. A suitable image example is a real world photo of either the product or the packaging. The brand doesn't infringe on another brand's trademark. Brands must be permanently affixed to either the product or its packaging. What do we mean by permanently affixed? This is when a brand name or logo that has either been printed on the packaging or a personalized sticker of the brand name or logo is permanently attached to the packaging. For some products, it's not possible for a brand to be permanently affixed to them, such as furniture, jewelry or clothes. In these cases, we accept attached tag labels with the brand name. Products can also have the branding directly on them, such as phone cases. Once you have added the files, check that all the requirements have been met. Once you've confirmed this, check the box next to the requirement. All checkboxes must be checked before you submit the application. Once you've added all documentation and check the required checkboxes, provide your contact information and click Submit. That's all there is to it. Once you have submitted your application for brand approval, we will review your submission. You'll be able to view the status of your application in your case log. To navigate to your case log, click on Help and then click Case Log. You can also check the status in Seller Central's Selling Applications status page by choosing View Selling Applications from the Catalog tab in Seller Central. If your brand name is approved, congratulations! You will now be able to list your product under your brand name. If after review we do not approve your product, we will notify you via the case log and provide a detailed description of why and what you need to submit to have your brand approved. This wraps up our video on Error 5665. Thank you and happy selling!